A large majority of real estate agents crash and burn after they get their certification and they come out into the real world because they don't know what they're doing. Uh, they don't, they don't know what they're doing. Um, so let's help that. What's up guys, Louis Galt here. Welcome to the channel as always. I hope you are doing well. We are here every week dropping videos about real estate, helping people, helping agents and all that good stuff. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, hit the X on the browser. Shh, shh, get out of here. All right, today we are talking about new agents and setting them up for success. We have a lot of new agents coming onto our team and the key is to set them up for success and help them hit the ground running. Because as we all know in the business, 95% of the stuff you learn in real estate school doesn't apply to the real world. It just doesn't. Sorry guys, sorry educators and, and people like that. Um, but it just doesn't. So here are some things to help you get started in the real world once you've got your license, once you're into a team or a brokerage and you're like, okay, what's next? So the first one is start with the basics and really get to know yourself. You have to do a deep dive and an assessment of yourself to figure out what you like, what you don't like, what you like doing, what you don't like doing, who you are, who you can market to. So there's like a deep dive of yourself before you can put yourself out there, right? Because how many people are like, hey, um, I do real estate and everyone sees it and they're like, oh God, another one. So you don't want to be that person. You want to actually refine yourself, figure out what you love doing. Like, what is it? Are you a people person or are you an, an ice skate? champion you know so you have that niche market you know what i mean there's there's little things that you need to deep dive into and a great way to do that is to do a full business plan now uh, when you go onto a brokerage or a team and um, ask them if they have a business plan to give you we give um, our agents one here and they kind of do a deep dive a lot of it is business and and stuff like that but some of it is personal as well and it helps you get to know like you know what your unique selling point is how you're going to actively market yourself as a new agent what the strengths you have to offer are over maybe agents that have done this for a long time and stuff like that so a deep dive into yourself get the basics down before you get out there and get destroyed by clients other agents and the industry okay the next one is don't turn your nose up at the grunt work all right now everyone looks at million dollar listing and all these other agents who are on instagram like hey the hustle but a driver mercedes you know but i'm hustling um all those guys um that's what people think they're going to step into you think you're going to magically step into this life of real estate we're super cool and we wear suits and tie all the time um but the truth is you're going to have to do some work you don't want to do to start with because you want to get into the industry you want to get all your reps underneath you you want to get experience in all aspects of the deal and to do that you might have to do stuff you don't want to like go and show other people's clients like be at the home inspection or go and take care of some stuff like that going and getting earnest money and dropping it off. There's a ton of stuff that you may have to do that you don't think is really what you want to do, but it's all about learning the industry, learning the deals, learn how clients work. So learn from you know a mentor or whoever else is on your team that you can kind of buddy up with and partner and follow around. But you have to go forward with this mentality that you have to work, you have to go, 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 go. If you have a full day where you're like, well, I don't have anything to do, you may as well just, just cut it out honestly you have to be focused you have to try and push yourself into situations that you might not have got to if you hadn't asserted yourself into them so don't be afraid of the grunt work don't be afraid of reaching out to all the agents in your team and your brokerage and saying hey is there anything i can help you with today can i you know shadow you on showings can i do x y and z whatever it is but just make sure you're doing things to learn the industry and learn about what it is you're trying to do okay the next one is continued education now for seasoned agents and people who have been around the business for a while, when you talk about continued education, it's like, oh my God, I don't want to do this anymore. Because you have to go to classes, you have to take time out your day, you have to do a bunch of stuff. And it's like, it's, it can be brutal. But as a new agent, if you don't have things going on, if your days aren't packed, if your calendar isn't full of stuff happening, educate yourself more the real estate school where you got your license from gives you a foundation 
but that does not in any means cover the whole industry. So there are different education points you need to jump into and learn about, like how to market yourself, like ethics, like uh, being a top producer, all these things you have to educate yourself on there. There's CE classes that you can take. Uh, of course, um, with our team, with our brokerage, we provide about 40 hours worth of education every single week to um, our team, to our new agents coming on. So there's nothing and no time that you should just be sitting around thinking, well, I can't do anything today. You can get on and get learning and learn more about the industry you're trying to get involved in. Okay, the next one is seeking out a mentor. This is huge. I had this coming on and my, my, my good buddy Alex kind of brought me on and I shadowed him around. He showed me the ropes. He even gave me my first deal. So there was a ton of stuff that we did together that I learned at a rapid rate. And that's what you need to find when you come on board a team or a brokerage or whatever. Make sure they are providing you with a mentor. Um, in our brokerage at EXP, we give you a mentor for your first three deals who will hold your hand and take you through the whole way. As well as that with our team, we have a system that you go through when you're on board that takes you through all the processes to get you set up step by step. And that's in our private Facebook group so you just go on there and you get through the learning bip, 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 and then you're gonna have your whole world in front of you ready to dominate so make sure you have a mentor and make sure that mentor or that team is setting you up for success and answering all the questions that you have okay the next one is probably the biggest one that um, agents want to know is how do I get business <laughs> How do I get paid in this thing? Where are we going to find the deals? Because there are deals out there. There's thousands of deals going on every single day and you just want this many. So they're out there. You just have to be able to find them. Now, where are they going to come from? At the start, it might be all sphere based. Okay, so you need to let your whole sphere, every single person that you know on the planet, you need to let them know that now you are a realtor and this is what you do and this is what you're committing to and you're going to be the best at it who's ever lived. So you need to let people know. Who's that include? It includes your friends, your family, your postman, um, your hairdresser, your bartender, anyone at all that you need to talk to to let them know, hey, this is what I do now. If you ever need any advice at all, let me know. And you always want to go with a giving hand, right? You're not going to go like, hey, do you need do you need to buy and sell real estate? It's not that. You need to educate. So this is where social media play comes into things in a big way because when you are talking to your sphere over social media, you can only say like, hey, I buy and sell real estate, like hit me up uh, a couple of times before everyone's like, oh, this guy sucks. Um, and they don't wanna be your friend anymore. But what you have to do is go with a giving hand. Like what is relevant information that you can provide and share that now you have knowledge of that people don't? What's going on in the interest rates? What's going on in the housing market? How is your particular city or state, whatever, looking as far as real estate goes? So start providing information and just start to drip, 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 drip. Um, and you will see results come from that. It could be a little slower. It could be a couple months or, you know, a month or two weeks or five days but you have to start getting that content out there to get leads. And that brings us directly on to the next one, which is nurturing that sphere, that group of people that you have, okay? And you're gonna to add to that as time goes on. Everyone you meet who has an email address who's ever left, that's gonna go into your CRM or wherever it is that you're sending information from, okay? So you're gonna be a collector of people now. You're gonna collect relationships and build them and build them and build them, and that's where business is gonna come from. Now, social media is a huge thing, of course. Clubhouse, which is the app that's taken over the world right now, is a huge one to connect with people on. If you can get up on Clubhouse, share a, like a little, a little diamond of knowledge there, you'd be surprised at the traction that that can create. So get out there and get your message out on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, Clubhouse, whatever it is that you want to use. Start getting that message out because you need to nurture them because you have to build no like and trust factor with anyone who's going to become a client of yours. They have to have all three of those. They have to know you, they have to like you, and they have to trust you. So building that through social media right now is the best way to do it because right now with the COVID pandemic and all the stuff going on, uh, hopefully there's a light at the end of the tunnel for all this, but we still can't get out there and shake hands and kiss babies, right? We can't go out and network. We can't go to events too much and just be going around the room and chatting with everyone. So it has to be done online it's the only place you can do it to do it in mass quantity and scale it so get through those social media platforms for us we provide our teams and our new agents with a comprehensive social media masterclass that they go through and they see success from that pretty quickly as they start to integrate all of these behaviors patterns 
and repetitions on social media. So make sure that you're nurturing people through your posts, videos, articles, whatever it is you're doing, get that content out there and become the new agent who has all the energy ready to give your new clients. And the last one is branding. What is branding? Like that's a th like branding's a weird word, right? I, I always think of like giant companies and stuff like that. But branding is a real thing. Branding is pretty much what you're known for not what you think you're known for, what other people know you for. Okay, so that's what your branding is as an agent. So you have to set yourself apart. If you look at any of my social media platforms or anything like that, it says Denver Realtor providing bite-sized chunks of industry knowledge or something like that. Um, but that's my thing, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm dropping videos all the time. I'm putting content out all the time. And that's what's starting to separate me from some of my peers. Now, that's not to say it's better or worse than what they're doing, but it's just what I do because I like doing this. I like talking to you guys. I like interacting. I like providing knowledge and doing all this stuff. So that's what I do. That's what my brand is. I know agents who have luxury brands. So their whole thing is like, you know, beautiful cars, suits all the time, kill it in luxury. That's awesome too. I know people whose brand is first time home buyers. Like that's their brand is like, that's all I ever do. I just work with first time home buyers. I help them all the time because I love it. And that's the, the brand they've built. So everyone has a different thing, you know, um, that you are going to be known for and you want to try and find that. It can take a little while to find, honestly, it took me about a year and a half um, to find out that this was the kind of way I was going to do my branding and, and my stuff. So it might take you a little while, but you'll find it eventually. And when you do find it, lock onto that. You know, you might be the guy who does MMA, who, you know, is the MMA realtor, whatever. Uh, you might be a cowboy. <laughs> I don't know, like a cowboy. Um, I've been watching Yellowstone recently, so I, I kind of want to be a cowboy. But you might be a cowboy um, who does the, the rodeo, but you're a realtor, so you're the rodeo realtor. You know, so like there's, there's things like that that set you apart from uh, other people. You have to just connect into that and don't be afraid of what that is. Just boom, just hit it real hard. So branding is a big one for sure. Now, these conversations can go on and on and on and on. And like I said, people on our team, when they come on, we spend countless um, hours with them and make sure that they are getting all these points across and make sure they are setting themselves up for success and hitting the ground running to start taking this business on because most agents that come out of real estate school don't make it. And it's because they don't have the support, the structure, the knowledge and the integration to go and execute what we are telling them how to do. So if you look to scale your business in a modern way, if you're looking to plug into a team that is going to set you up to kill the market wherever you are around the world, then hit me up, drop a comment below and we will be back next week with some more videos on these topics. I hope you guys are doing well. Have a lovely rest of your week. Talk to you soon.